you something else. Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of I Ain't Gonna Say Nothing, but where we talk about some trending things that is going on in the world of people and whatever else is happening. So make sure if you this is the first time that you're tuning in and checking me out, you go ahead that you like, you comment, and you subscribe to the channel and leave your comment below. Let me know what you think. And if there's some things that you want to talk about, we so we can cover in the next episode so let's get into it. now um a really really huge topic and a uh and uh a lot of chimes that were going on this past few weeks especially were the academy awards the oscars people yes some of us care about it some of us don't i know i don't um i just like to see what's going on where people are talking about it when it it's on Twitter and everything is trending. And the there were a few things that were trending about it, especially when it came to the best supporting actors. There were two to name that was really prevalent. Um, so two of them were up for best supporting actress, Angela Bassett and Jamie Lee Curtis. Now, to give you a little background, we all know who these two ladies are because they've been around for over 30 years. They've been keys in a lot of different movies, especially, you know, for Jamie Lee Curtis. You know, she's been that same white dumb hoe who's been running from Michael Myers for the last 40 years. I believe that is one of her most memorable movies that we all know her from. I mean, what man is chasing you around for 30 years you didn't did everything to this man he still comes back it's just it's ridiculous and then on the other hand we have the beautiful uh angela bassett and you know, she's a black actress i mean it was time it was due she's been in some very 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 good movies mm, mm. and she's gorgeous just gorgeous i mean if i could shoot my shot at her i definitely would but she is she's married of course like the the good ones always are but still <clears throat> i digress so they were up for best supporting actress uh jamie lee curtis was in the movie every thing everywhere all at once and angela bassett was in uh black panther black panther wakanda forever which i seen a couple times i loved it so it was worth it the everywhere ev everything everywhere I, I didn't even bother because I thought it looked stupid. And even when I read the, <clears throat> even when I read the synopsis for it, I was like, "Yeah, mm -mm, I ain't doing it." So it comes down to this: um, when they announced it, and like as as you're watching it, you're seeing the reaction that's going on. <sighs> Jamie Lee Curtis is like she's ecstatic yes because she's been around this game for forever and it's about time like she was in something serious something that really just pushed her range when it came to acting um and okay yeah she might have deserved it but I think Angela Bassett deserved it a little bit more because the way she carried you know that emotional support role in Black Panther is like, yeah, it should have been just due. But we all know that the Academy Awards is kind of biased, kind of racist. I'm not just saying, just saying it's from other people that have said this, that, you know, we, the, the colored folks only get our just due every so often. We only get what we deserve when, you know, we're, they're really tired of giving out to the people who really don't need it, like don't need it at all. So, it was just when it was announced it was just like the look and scowl on her face just says it all it just really says it all so like just take a look <clears throat> at the video right here when it's announced and just look at her face it's like you just tell oh oh someone's gonna get someone's gonna get fucked up tonight just take a look Dude, jamie lee got it! 
Yeah, I know. Like, just her look just says it all. It it just completely says it all, and it's it's messed up because it was a good movie. Um, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. It was. I mean, the everything, everywhere, all at once. I, I don't know. Even though it took home a lot of a lot of uh, Oscars, you know, it, it tied. I think Slumdog Millionaire for the most wins in one night for one movie, which is great. That's fine. But then again, don't nobody really fucking care. Like seriously, seriously, like it. They could have gave it to somebody else, not Jamie Lee Curtis. I mean, she's she's been in the same movie forever and probably will still be in the same movie forever. I bet right now somebody is making a clone of her and then they're going to make another Michael Myers where they come up with something else where another another breed is just going to be like, OK, OK, here he comes. He's going to kill us all on Halloween and strike again. I mean, but another but another Angela Bassett, yeah, you'll probably never find her ever again. She's one of those timeless beauties, timeless actresses that comes around every so often that, you know, just really leaves a mark on the industry and on people in general. Um, so I say in my heart, she won. She really did. Jamie Lee Curtis, no, she did it because she hasn't really did nothing that really is amazing to where you just be like... Yeah, I think I like that one. I think I like that one. So, um, in other news, following the Oscars, the you know pre-show when everybody's on the red carpet, uh, Sierra tend to steal the show. Yes, Sierra, the singer, the one who's married to Russell Wilson. Um, apparently, she decided she wanted to come out in her nightgown. That's because that's what it looked like. That damn thing did not look like a dress. I mean, I ain't going to say nothing, but... What are you thinking? Really? I understand we are now in the world and in a culture of shock value. We try to do everything that we possibly can to just get people's attention, keep people talking, keep people's eyes and ears on us to make it seem like we are still relevant and we are still pre we are still prevalent in this time. And I think um since your music career is a total wash no one's really peeping or buying any of your music you just need to fade to black <clears throat> exit stage left and just stop i mean don't get me wrong you are gorgeous yes you're a gorgeous woman you from head to toe uh i still could never understand how you're gonna come out with a song like a boy but it's whatever it's whatever and i mean you've given your goodies up to two people and you know one dude got mad because the other dude's raising his son so <clears throat> it's whatever but for you still to want to have that type of shock value yeah just stop i mean any man who's going to let his woman walk out like this like just just take a look just take a look at this any man who's going to allow his woman to walk out like this and basically show everything i mean there is no imagination when it comes to this dress yes it's see-through yes it's sequence and all that okay great but then again like why w what was you thinking when you decided like oh i'm gonna walk out like this i'm gonna like get the attention going and then that's it. It's not like you were saying, hey, I'm promoting my new album, which was probably going to be a watch because what you was a good singer, what, maybe 10 years ago? I mean, you really haven't done anything that's that's good. I mean, who have you collab with? Nobody, nobody. So, I mean, you're what your uh, um, <laughs> your your career went down the drain once you have a future and then look what happened then you moved on to russell wilson okay you got the greatest of the great corn balls of all time yeah so what are you really doing you just wanted to shock people with that stupid ass dress and yeah i mean any man would not let his woman walk out like that especially like that but 
people do things for all type all different type of reasons nowadays so i ain't gonna say nothing but you should have just rethought that whole idea because uh-uh boo boo it just it ain't rocking i mean you just really showing your goodies yep for free so everybody can just keep google it download it <clears throat> put it on the background like okay yep this is what she looks like this is what he sees so i mean you might not show us your intimate privates but still the sense of imagination is almost little to none with that one almost little to none so i ain't gonna say nothing but in sports we all we all keep seeing this situation when it comes to Memphis superstar Ja Morant. So apparently, this nigga decided he wanted to be about that life. But in trying to be about that life, he came up short. Really short. I mean, how you gonna bust? No, no, no. How you gonna like show off your mini gun on ig live and then it's like you trying to be about that life when you really not i mean come on now bro came from a two-parent household which there that's in a sense that's nothing to joke about because we know in the society that we live in when it comes to black children whether you're a black female or a black male it is you are what i think it's the statistics is you are what 60 percent more likely to achieve better in life if you come from a more stable environment with both the man and the woman in the household so you are you'll be a better member in society well this dude came from a stable household he had his mother and his father while he was growing up so he wasn't you know oh my mom raised me so i gotta you know play ball to get out of the ghetto no no dude came up right you know by two do goods that was great you know we we need more uh we need more examples like this in the world that we live in today but dude just took it all the way left all the way i mean you flash it a little mini gun on ig live and then you kind of smile about it and then <laughs> i mean mini guns and mental health that's that's what it comes down to you flash the mini gun and then you talk about you need to go get your mental health together well bro that's fine that's real fine mental health is nothing that we should play about but you know what you should not be playing about guns because you know people are watching people stay watching like there was an interview that i had seen um and I think the person was uh carmelo anthony when he said like the feds stay watching like basketball feds stay watching and then now you are away from the team and now your team is just going downhill real quick because they don't have their leader ja to lead them i mean the playoffs is about to start bro and where are you at you're nowhere because you decided that you want to be about that life for you know a nice hot 15 and then look what happened i mean you busting guns on ig live uh you got a stripper busting out for you and you smiling i mean come on now bro that just i ain't gonna say nothing but get it together like it's some things are not some things we shouldn't play about but other things is like what are you really doing it for just because you got all this money doesn't mean you get to skate through <clears throat> like other people shit i wish i had the money he had i wouldn't be doing half the things i'm doing now i would actually be enjoying my life i'd be on a fucking villa somewhere well not i'd be in a villa on a boat i want to get a villa on a boat i wonder if you can do that a house villa boat <clears throat> yeah i think that'd be my dream right there a house villa boat okay <clears throat> but i ain't gonna say nothing but nigga get it together get it together because you got way too much to live for and you know you busting a minigun on ig when you know somebody's watching yeah nah bro nah i ain't gonna say nothing but the lunch lady is serving up specials yes so we have another dumb 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 person so we have a lady by the name of 
Andy Rosefort. She is a 31 Connecticut lunch lady. And apparently, well not apparently, it's it's been it's been announced definitely she's been serving up more um than corn, peas, and mashed potatoes. She's been serving up herself to a 14-year-old child. Now, once again, here we go to where I guess she's not getting, you know, her hot potato pocket like she wants it, you know, from her significant other or whoever she stays with or lives with or whatever. Um, so she decides she wants to prey on innocent kids. Now, I really think I'm living in the wrong era because I would love for some of these teachers, some of these lunch ladies to look like women these days because the women that that I seen when I was in school, they don't look nah, like none of these hoes. They really don't. I would love to get just, you know, taken advantage of something. And I wouldn't say not a damn thing. I wouldn't share it with nobody. You know, um, if, if y'all remember when the Waynes used to be on Pop, she used to be like, don't tell nobody. Because I wouldn't say a damn thing. Not nothing. I can't believe it. These kids are, you know, getting, um, getting trained, getting, well, getting be able to run trains on these teachers. And then you want to start telling people, man, I want to say shit. I was signed in NDA. I would want you to come rape me. And I would like it. I wouldn't say a fucking thing. Now, I understand that you have some of these kids to where they're, they're not, they're not old enough. They, they're being taken advantage of. They they don't know what's happening. I mean, if your dick can get hard, you know what's happening. Like, come on. If you can share it with somebody, you know what's happening. If other kids know where to put it, how to put it, and how to use it, you know what's happening. These kids are way smarter than they actually are given credit for. And the parents that actually are involved in letting this shit happen, they need to be ashamed of themselves. Now, we need to also blame this lady too, because if you really want it that bad, I'm sure you can find someone on Facebook or Instagram who is willing to give it to you. Hell, you could probably find you a crackhead. I mean, you live in Connecticut of all places. Like, the place of the forefathers where, you know, you could probably, like, go get some of that. I don't, I don't know what it is. I'm not even going to try to make up something stupid. <laughs> I'm not. But I'm just saying, like, come on now. And Andy, you, you really... You really want to have sex with a 14-year-old student. Like, you couldn't go knock off the gym teacher or the science teacher or the principal or somebody. You had to take a child, a child who didn't know any better, a child who's just like, oh, my God, I'm getting some pussy. Oh, no, Miss Lunch Lady, it never felt this good. Like, all right. At, at one point, you want to feel bad for the child because they're being taken advantage. But another point is like, Why? Why would you do that? What what sense would that make? Why did you need to even try to go after a child? It, that made no sense. So <clears throat> I ain't going to say nothing, but I think we really need to do something about these people who we let around our children. Like it's it's a haven for predators. Like if if it's not the lunch lady, it's the teacher. If it's not the teacher, it's the principal. If it's not the principal, it's the bus driver. I mean, it's somebody that it is just a avenue of predators just lurking and watching and trying to go after your child. And you just <clears throat> you just never know. And it's it's really sad that we are in a society that we have to be as cautious as we possibly can to make sure that we protect our children at all costs because we're putting our children in the hands of these um, these educators who are supposed to educate and lead our children into you know being better people as they grow um, from adolescence and you know to adulthood so it's like we are sending the wrong messages by letting this happen because it's it's just not good it, it's not good at all and it sucks that this shit just keeps happening it keeps happening and then everybody keeps saying oh we're gonna take a stand when you really don't take a stand you don't do anything but just allow this bullshit to happen so once again i ain't gonna say nothing but I mean, the lunch lady, it's okay for you to get stuffed, but you can't get stuffed 
by a kid who barely knows how to stuff you. Like, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just saying. So, yeah, that's 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 what we got. That's what we got. Four dummies. Well, we got no one, two, three, four. Well, we got three dummies because Angela Bassett, she's not a dummy. I mean, she can get stuffed. Yeah, she could be my lunch lady. Yeah, she can. Maybe Jamie Lee Curtis, but I don't know. She was in like that commercial for yogurt some years ago, and ever since then, once she her hair turned white, I was like, mm, nah, I'm okay. I'm okay. So, yeah. So yeah, people, that's uh, something that's what we got. That's what we got. This is your host, Mr. Will Day Fresh, and I will talk to you all soon.